Hi, welcome back to my channel, Daniel Perry Fisher. And I've got in my hands a bag of baits. It was a, going to be an unboxing or unbagging, as it were, of some untamed tackle. The goods. So, kind of refreshing some stuff. This is my... Uh, buying everything that I ran out of, you know, just kind of my annual rebuy. Lord, I wish I could a whole bunch of stuff. So, well, I'd show you all what I'm what I'm buying. Maybe it's something you'd be into too. So, first is the ace jig, and this is something that I'm going to do a whole another a whole another. Uh, YouTube on because this is the jig, the ace jig, untamed tackle. It's it's the best skipping jib up, jig I've ever had. The weed guards just right. The frog hair skirt, everything is just perfect, and I absolutely love them. Uh, this is a the color donk and three eighths, just a bluegill color. These are going to be all mixed up, so I'm going to be going back and forth. A this is a 3 8 black and blue. Another, this is a half ounce donk. So a lot of these are going to be ace jigs. Okay, I'll put the other ones off to the side. This is a ace jig, half ounce. A little bit heavier one, this is dirty craw. I really only use three colors. I mean, it's bluegill color, dark water for black and blue, and then just a regular craw color the dirty craw you can pretty much throw any it's a, a brown and a kind of amber and a black brown black color so you can throw a green pumpkin you can go oranges in the winter whatever it is this jig kind of suits all the the different thing because it's a pretty fine skirt and this and the jig's kind of a more of a finesse jig um i mean it's got a good hook in it but it is more of a finesse jig. So the trailer is not so big that it's overpowering a color that you can make up the difference in a, a jig trailer, if that's what you like to do. So yeah, that one's dirty crawl. The lighting's terrible in here, sorry, but you can look it up online. Um, put those to a side. A lot of those. Uh, two more of the donks, half ounce. Uh, this one's a dirty craw, and this one's a donk. So three eighths and half ounce. That's my go-to is going to be a three eighths, and sometimes whenever I want either want more of a reaction strike or I just want a little bit better, um, you know, a little bit deeper, cast a little bit further, uh, whatever it is. Three eighths and half ounce are my two go-to sizes. Uh, some more donk and. Dirty crawling, three eighths and half. I bought a bunch of them. Just filling up another three eighths. Donk. Same thing. So I'll just go the, put those over to the side. Dirty crawl, half ounce. Obviously, I like those. Black and blues. That's something different. All right. So I think there's three things I ordered here. Black and blue, dirty crawl, donks, more of those. That's really all the ace ones I throw. Just those three colors, like I said. So put those to the side. More and more of them. My bought too many, but that's all right. I'll go through them. Okay, next are, this is the Hal Welcher's Apex Swim Jig. And they sell two different kinds. This one's different. So the first one, the Ace Jig, is designed by Kyle Welcher, the Alabama Pro, uh, Elite Series guy, Angler of the Year this year. So obviously, you know, these are tried and true baits by the best angler in the country this year. Uh, the Apex Swim Jig, this one's a little bit more of a finesse swim jig, uh, kind, of, kind of along the lines of if you've thrown the missile bait ones, um, they're a compact, any kind of comp, more, 
just a little bit more compact swim jig, not tiny. Uh, the weights are the same, still 3 8 is my go-to. I can change whether I want to be higher in the water column. I can use more of a craw trailer if I want to get down a little bit lower. Uh, I can use a like more of a swim bait trailer. I use the Exxon Swimmer, the four inch, three and a half or four, usually four. Um, unless I'm in the fall, I'm just really trying to look really small. Uh, this is Ghost Shad. It's, it's good to me. Um, I like Ghost Shad because I can pretty much throw, I can match it up with different kinds of trailers to make it look more clear, translucent, or I can go the other way, more white bone to make it more stand out in dirty water. Uh, yeah, so just something real natural. A little bit of green pumpkin in with the white. I've got a, this is the Magic Gill. So just regular green pumpkin with a little bit of cut orange in it. Another Ghost Shad and Black Blue. Gotta have those, obviously. And last but not least, the third thing on here are the the Shaken Ace. This is also designed by Kyle Welcher, but it's the I carry the quarter, the three eighths, and the mm -hmm. that's the these these sizes are not correct on this bag, but it's the I carry the one eight. The one quarter for the heavy whenever I want to fish really deep. And the three sixteenth. That's three sixteenths my go-to. The quarters whenever I want to fish like out past 20 feet. And then the eighth ounce is usually skipping or throwing around docks, things like that. Um, but these are great. It's the same exact head as the as the ace jig. So it's they're the best skip and swim jig you'll ever use. So it does have the spring, if you like the spring style. Uh, it's got a good stout hook. Not a, it's not a gaff, but it's kind of good in between ground. And that's what all these, they're, uh, they're not finesse. I, I wouldn't call them finesse, but I wouldn't call them like, they're, they're just all the really good middle ground of right where you want to be of, they have the right hook where you can, especially for a kayak or you can, using all different kinds of situations, but you can see the absolute minimal hook bend, just a little bit of flex, but that's why well, that, that hook is still razor sharp. But there you go, the shaking ace. If you like skipping docks with a shaky head, this is a deal. You're not gonna beat it, the right hook, just a tiny bit of flex, so it's not, it's, it's going to be that needle sharp hook and what you want as shaky head. If you get them too, you know, if they're too stout, and I've had that problem before where if they're too thick, then you have to go up to a meaty, medium heavy rod. Uh, maybe that's what you like and there is the right situation for that. But there's a good versatile all around shaky head. Uh, maybe a little bit more of that creeper style too, where it's uh, more of that Carolina creeper style shaky head but yeah i've had great success with them but that's it just want to show you all a few things the apex swim jig and the ace by kyle welcher and also the shaking ace untamed tackle um uh, yeah just absolutely blown away by all their products i've used i mean they're they're legit they're as good as anything else out there and they're pro design so you know they've got to be the best so all right see y'all next one